Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So we did a couple of posts regarding what is this? So what is this device? Is it a Wi-Fi adapter? Is it a wireless router? So of course, the answer is actually pretty simple. So what is this? This is actually the Wi-Fi Pineapple Nano. So you can see over here. So this is Wi-Fi Pineapple Nano, and you can see the words here. So it is a smaller version of the Wi-Fi Pineapple family. And what it does is that it's really able to help us do a lot of wireless auditing, wireless penetration testing, or wireless hacking. And it is a wonderful tool that I've been using for the past two years. There's been a lot of firmware upgrades as well as modules that are available in terms of doing wireless penetration testing. So it's a great tool to have and it's developed by Hack5, one of the most popular cybersecurity channels on YouTube. So today we will actually go through the tutorial about the usage of Wi-Fi Pineapple and how you can actually use it for wireless hacking. So without further ado, let us get started on today's tutorial. So over here, you can actually go into the Wi-Fi Pineapple page. So this is the setup basics. It takes about three to five minutes for you to complete the setup. So we have already completed the setup. You can actually see the setup from some of the other videos on the channel. So do hit down there. So of course, we are using the Wi-Fi Pineapple Nano. And of course, we have already connected. So of course, if you see on the bottom right, we got the Pineapple Wi-Fi network adapter connected into the Wi-Fi Pineapple. And at the same time, I got a Wi-Fi 4 that's connected to my home access point that has an internet connection. So this is the page that you will get into once you are in the Wi-Fi Pineapple. And of course, this is actually based on the IP address of 172.16.42.1 running on port 1471. So moving forward, we can actually see the number of clients connected, SSIDs in Pooh, and so on. And of course, here we got a bulletin. So the bulletins can come in once you have internet connection sharing enabled. So it's pretty powerful. And of course, on the left side, you have all the tabs that are available. So you got dashboard, reconnaissance, clients that are currently connected, how you want to track the information, the modules available that you can actually install onto your Wi-Fi Pineapple to make it highly modular and flexible and versatile in terms of doing some of this wireless auditing. And of course, you have filters and you have Pine access points. So this enable the opening of the SSIDs. And of course, you have logging of the information, reporting that you want to generate, networking information like IP tables and so on, configuration, advanced notes and help. So of course, when we go into the reconnaissance, we can actually do a 30 seconds or one minute scan. So we can go ahead and click start on that. So this would actually start the entire scanning process of everything that is within the vicinity uh, wirelessly. So this could actually tell us and help us see what are some of the devices that are connected into different access points and how are they actually interlinked, whether they are connected. And this is the part where we can actually do some of the de-authentication attacks coming in from. So while it is scanning now, we can also look at clients. So when you look at clients, of course, there is no clients now found. And what I can do is that I can actually switch from my mobile device that I have separately. And I can actually connect into the Pineapple 6C71, which is available wirelessly. So on the right side, when we look at the wireless access points that are available, we can actually see some of this wireless access points that are available for us to connect into. And of course, here we got Wi-Fi Pineapple and so on. So this is where we can go into Pine AP. And we can click on Allow Associations, and we can actually enable the Pine AP daemon, which has already been started for us. And here we can enter a wireless SSID pool. So for example, I can say My Home Network, and I can click Add onto it. And once I click add, this would actually be available into uh, the SSID within the vicinity. So here it's been added. And of course, on the left side, we can actually allow associations. We can lock the Pine AP events. We can even capture all the SSIDs within the vicinity and look at all this information. And we can broadcast the SSID pool. So we can click Save Pine AP Settings. And once you have saved it, what happened is that this SSID will be broadcast into the wireless network. So for example, if I click onto the right side and I do a scanning, we can actually see my home network that is now available for connection. So on my mobile device, what happened is that I'll actually connect into my home network and the mobile device under the clients of the wireless, you can actually 
see that there will be a client. So if you look into dashboard, we can see two clients connected. We can click onto it because it is a free wireless. So here we can see like my home network. We can see this is the Galaxy S10e. So we have done a lot of mobile Android hacking over on Galaxy S10e and so on. And of course we have other devices they're connected into. So here we can see the two clients connected, one SSID in pool, the uptime of 15 minutes. And of course, going back to reconnaissance, we can actually look out for some of the scanning activity. So it could be live, it could be a minute. So we can start to scan or we can actually load some of the scan results that we have done previously. And looking forward on the modules, modules are really, really powerful and useful in terms of looking at how you could actually launch some of the different type of attacks. So when we click onto manage modules, we can actually click get modules from hack five community repositories. So this would actually load all the potential modules that you want to install into your Wi-Fi pineapple. So of course, some of these modules can actually be very helpful once you have a micro SD card inserted into your Wi-Fi pineapple. So it makes it a lot smarter. So here now we got a connection done and we can actually display all the information so we can update some of the modules we can install new modules and we see a lot of new modules coming in all the time and always great to update them so i'm just gonna go ahead and update some of this information so we can click on install update so we're in one of the modules called the wall so what happened is that if i'm surfing any information going out into the internet we can actually see those data so what happened is, for example, now I am going into the quick setup stage. So this could actually tell us already URL that the client device is coming in and what is the URL they're going into. And whenever I click onto any other URL, we can actually see the URL information. Or if I go, for example, into loyliangyang.com, we can actually also see the URL that is being transacted by the mobile device into some of the links that the user is going into and we can see a lot of all these details and you could also work with like adder cap or any other information coming in and we'll be able to see the client information or devices and so on so it's really powerful in terms of finding out all this data for you and you could actually see a lot more details coming in and here we got the evil portal module running and of course on the right side is actually your mobile device so the moment the mobile device is connected to the wireless access point, it will be prompted into this page and you can have to click authorize in order for the user to become an authorized client. And once the user becomes an authorized client, then you can verify the usage of the mobile device. You can see into some of the information and you could also work alongside portal authentication and under portal authentication what you can do is you can actually set up a fake login page to actually be able to post up user account password login page so that you can see what's going on and be able to get those username and password immediately from the user so it is not just about using wi-fi pineapple as a wireless penetration testing tool there's a lot of other key functions and when it comes to wireless hacking there's many different definitions of it so the first definition most people are associated with it is in terms of cracking the passwords of wpa wpa2 and so on and of course the second definition of wireless hacking could be putting up a fake landing page so when users get authenticated to a evil twin what happened is that they're prompted for a username and password of their social media account in order to access through the internet from that particular SS point. So there are different definitions and terms and many different techniques and tactics that you can use as part of wireless hacking. So I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of those questions. And remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.